And how many people sleep on one mat? Three people. Three on one mat, right? I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. In my adventures around the world, I can usually look at things and find something, anything humorous. That's just who I am. But when I traveled to the Tamata Minsu Buddhist nunnery in northern Yangon, Myanmar, I felt only love and admiration. The nuns here, aged 4 to 41, changed my life. How many nuns do you have here? Da has been a nun for 34 years. Each day, she wakes early in the morning, feeds all the girls, and sends them to a local school she's been able to afford through donations. She's the most caring mother hen, looking after these girls as if they were her own. So all of these children here, they all have parents or are some of them orphans? I know in Myanmar, there's a problem with human trafficking, and especially with young girls. Have some of these girls escaped that? Yes. How often do you see your parents? She hasn't gone back home. Uh, how is it different here than at, the, at home? Yeah, she likes here more. Are the monasteries for the monks supported by the temples? Yes. yes. And is this nunnery supported by a temple? Yeah. A lot of times, being a nun in Myanmar, a country not known for its women's lib, isn't just safer for girls, but empowering. On the next Abroad Abroad, know what happens when you cram hundreds of boats into a 10-foot wide canal? Total freaking chaos. And it's awesome!